there is no teacher to help you. Don't worry anymore. I am your teacher, Rose. Get your pen and paper and let us gain victory in learning mathematics. But before we proceed to our lesson for today, let us seek the guidance of our Lord and let us pray. Lord Jesus, we humbly bow down before you. May you continue to give us wisdom that we need in our lesson for today. In Jesus' name, this we pray. Amen. Our topic for today is about quadratic equation. In here, we can define quadratic equation and compare from linear to quadratic. What you need to know in this lesson? 1. Define quadratic equation. 2. Illustrate quadratic equation. 3. Relate quadratic equation in real life. Oops! Just wait for a while because there are words of the day we need to tackle. The roots, the sum, the product, is squared, and perfect square. First thing, let us ask Google what is the definition of roots. Roots is a value of an unknown quantity satisfying the given situation. Sum, the total amount resulting from the addition of two or more numbers amounts or items. Product. It's the result in multiplying two numbers. Squared. Multiplying number by itself. Perfect square. The product of polynomial multiplied by itself. Let us classify let us classify the two equations that will appear. Here is the first one. 3x squared plus 4x equals 15. The other one, x plus 7 equals 0. What have you been observed for the two equations? Think very carefully. So the 2 represents two kinds of equation. The first one is the linear equation. And the other one is quadratic equation. 3x squared plus 4x is equal to 15 is the sample of, an, of a quadratic equation. x plus 7 is equal to 0 is an example of linear equation. Because linear equation is any equation that is in the first degree. And this can be written in the form ax is equal b equals 0, where a and b are real numbers, while x is the variable. So here is this sample of linear equation. In activity number 1, we are going to identify which linear and which is not. Let me read the following equations. x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. 2r squared minus 50 equals 0. m squared is equal to 81. 3x squared minus 9x equals 0. 2 is equal to 1 minus 2s. 5x minus 3 is equal 0. 1 half n plus 8 is equal 0. 2 over 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 equals 0. 7p plus 3q equals 15. Those 9 set of equations, let us identify which is linear and not. Get your pen and separate linear equation and which the other is quadratic equation. I'll give you 1 minute to answer. Hi there, do you still answering our activity? Now, let us know which linear and which is not. The color yellow represents linear equation. Let us check your paper if it is correct. 
Linear equations are the following. 2 is equal to 1 minus 2x. 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. 1 half n plus 8 is equal to 0. 7p plus 3q is equal to 15. Those are the linear equation. Because the meaning of linear equation is an equation that is on the first degree. Hope you understand what is linear equation. Based on our activity, 5 out of 9 equations are not linear. These are the following. x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. 2r squared minus 50 equals 0. m squared equals 81. 3x squared minus 9x equals 0. And 2 third x squared plus 5x minus 2 equals 0. What have you been observed by these five equations? Do they have in common? Since linear equation is in the first degree of the exponent, here, as you can see, it is on the second degree. These equations are what we call quadratic equation. What do we mean by quadratic equation? It is an equation on the second degree, written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Where your a, your b, and your c are all real numbers, and a is not equal to 0. A quadratic equation is in the standard form if all the non-zero terms are can be found on the left side of the equation. And on the terms appear in the order of descending powers of the variable. A quadratic equation is written in the standard form in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Where a and b, c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. And we have here an example. So, x squared minus 7x plus 12 equals 0. If we're going to check it, it is already on its standard form. So we have here x multiplied by x plus 7 is equal to 0 is also a quadratic equation. And we have 3x squared plus 4x equals 15 is also quadratic equation. The first one is in the standard form. How about the second one? If we're going to use the distributive property, x multiplied by x, it will result to x squared, and x multiplied by 7, it will result to 7x, so it will result to x squared plus 7x equals 0, where it is on the standard form. But you will see the c is missing, or the constant term. But we can classified it as a quadratic equation since the variable has its second degree. Next is 3x squared plus 4x equals 15 is already already quadratic equation since it will become 3x squared plus 4x minus 15. So only all the non-zero will turn out into the left side. So it will become in the standard form and we classified it as a quadratic equation since there is a second degree of exponent. Quadratic equation has each term. We have ax squared, bx, and c. What do you call by the ax squared? This is what we call the quadratic term. Next is bx. What we call this is linear term. And c is the constant term. Always remember that we have different terms in the quadratic equation in its standard form, quadratic term, linear term, and constant. Activity number 2. Activity number 2 entitled Know and Tell. Tell whether it is quadratic or not quadratic. Here are the following equations. 3m plus 8 is equal to 15. 6 minus 2x plus 3x squared equals 0 x squared minus 5x plus 10 equals 0, 25 minus r squared equals 4r, 12 minus 4x equals 0, 3x quantity x minus 2 equals negative 7, 2t squared minus 7t equals 12, x plus 2 quantity squared equals 0. Let us now 
tell whether it is quadratic or not quadratic. 3m plus 8 equals 15. What do you think? Tell me what is quadratic. It is quadratic or not quadratic. Okay, you are correct. It is not quadratic because it is on the first degree. And we remember that on the first degree, it is on the linear equation. How about this one? x squared minus 5x plus 10 equals 0. Quadratic or not quadratic? Very good. It is quadratic because it is on the second degree. Let's proceed to another one. 12 minus 4x equals 0. Quadratic or not quadratic? Correct. That is not quadratic because it is on the first degree of the equation. How about this one? 2t squared minus 70 equals 12. Quadratic or not quadratic? You're correct. That is quadratic because of the second degree of exponent. How about this one? 6 minus 2x plus 3x squared equals 0. Is it quadratic or not quadratic? Brilliant idea. You have it. That is quadratic. Because 3x squared or the quadratic term is on the second degree. And now let us continue our activity. I have here 25 minus r squared equals 4r. What do you think is this? Quadratic or not quadratic? By evaluating, it is quadratic because of the r squared. Next, tell me whether it is quadratic or not quadratic. But it is not in the simplified form. You have 3x quantity x minus 2 equals negative 7. In order you to identify if it is quadratic or not, let us now use our known about distributive property. Distributive property multiplying a monomial to binomial. So from 3x multiplied by x, it will result to 3x squared. And 3x multiplied by negative 2 is equal to negative 6x. And we just rewrite negative 7. Here, we can now classify it. But in order us to transform it into a standard form, we are going to use the addition property of equality. So you have 3x squared minus 6x plus 7 equals negative 7 plus 7. And to simplify, we have 3x squared minus 6x plus 7 equals 0. Now, we can say that 3x quantity x minus 2 equals negative 7 or 3x squared minus 6x plus 7 equals 0 is a quadratic because of the term 3x squared. Let's proceed to another one. We have x plus 2 quantity squared equals 0. How do we tell if it is quadratic or not quadratic? Let us first simplify. So, you're going to have x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2. Since a while ago, a squared is multiplying by itself. So, we're going to use FOIL. Do we still remember FOIL? F for first term, O for outer term, I for inner term, and L for last term. So, let us multiply. So, it will become x multiplied by x is x squared. The last term, positive 2 multiplied by positive 2 is positive 4. In order to get the outer and the inner term, you get 2 times x, 2x, and 2 times x is 2x, and add the middle term to get 4x. So, you have x squared plus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. 
Now, tell me what it is. Quadratic or not quadratic? Okay, let us show you that this is a quadratic. Wow, we almost done our lesson for today. But before we end this lesson, let us have a recap. So, linear equation is an equation that it is on the first degree. Always remember that linear equation is on the first degree. While the quadratic equation is an equation on its second degree, written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. Always remember that a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. Because we have the ax squared as our quadratic term, our bx is what we call the linear term, and c is what we call the constant term. And always remember that the graph of a linear equation is a straight line, while quadratic equation is parabola. Most commonly, it uses in curved lines. Here is an example of a parabola. As we can see, it is on the curved line and this is an example of quadratic equation. And that is our topic for today. Don't forget to jot down all the necessary and all the important notes. Goodbye!